replay in the FA Trophy local derby once more this time at the Bibby Financial Services Stadium couldn't separate the two teams and here we are they come from Pope captain for the day it's an early touch for McCollin and he gets an ocean away and that's not far at all McCollin who was only on the bench for the first tie afforded far too much room and that wasn't far wide little dummy and there's the first only chance that's a free kick run right on the edge lovely little dummy from Pierce sets up a free kick for Worthing in a really dangerous position first opportunity for Worthing little step over shot towards goal and that's right in the top corner and it doesn't get any better than that. Worthing take the lead. After four minutes of opening goal for Worthing, number five, Sam Rents. And that's one you want to see again and again and again. All spread out here for Crane. Gets a nice flick on. An early cross in. And at the back post. Add your boy steaming in. And that was a chance. Once again. A little flick round the corner from Starkey. Pierce back to Starkey. Good football, but the offside flag was up. Starkey was there again. Nice football. And carrying on his run was Rents. Now can he deliver a cross? It's low and there were pills for handball. Nothing doing. Another golden opportunity. It'll be a corner. Lovely diagonal looking for Smith Joseph. It's not going to find him, but it will find Diallo who picks it up. And he's got time to think about where he's going to put the ball. He puts it to McCullin. And it's in! Out of nothing, McCullin gets the equaliser. A finish from McCollin. Restored to the starting lineup. He's been struggling with injury all season. What a player he is and what a goal that was. Two fantastic goals and we're level. Crane keeps going. And he's there again. Getting the pass from Starkey. He looked to find Pierce, who surely gets one in the back. And another free kick and once again. It's Richmond's who uh, was already booked early on, don't forget. Rents try to sneak one in. It is Rents try to sneak it in. Just goes past the post. Okay. The ball that's been missed by Diallo. And that could prove dangerous as Worthing. Pile forwards. If it's Pierce that comes in. And Worthing's leads restored. Diallo's caught out of position as he went to clear the ball and Worthing steam forward and Pierce got on the end of it good low cross Worthing 2-1 up oh and that's a missed pass and it's been picked up by McCollin and then that's a cynical challenge and that will be another yellow card so McCollin against Pernpiao here goes McCollin that time it hits the wall ball spread out to Ajiboy who was in space but Barker is there that's a hard, strong challenge from Rents into Pope Paddy's Hill Town still on the attack it's a chance for the equals. it took a deflection that really should have been 2-2 Pat Harding corner went all the way through it's going to be picked up by McCollin he gets a cross in it's turned away over his own goal that was a vicious cross another corner whipped in and a free header and it's cleared off the line and the referee gave a free kick in the end Is Rents 
Well, that's too much dawdling. And here's McCullin. And McCullin, good save. McCullin again. And again, a good save. And then somehow, defending for their lives, Parsons managed to scramble the ball clear behind his own goal. Pierce, he's got no one in a red shirt in front of him. So he decides to run it down the channel. Adjie Boy is now just inside. Instead, he switches play for Starkey. He thought about the effort. It's gone for a goal. And they're immediately on the attack. And there's a chance. The offside flag has gone up. And he's in there. And here comes McCullin. And he's just dragged it wide with his left foot. How many chances are Burgess Hill Town going to waste today? Wilson picks up the loose ball. He thinks about the shots over the top. Worthing playing it around at the back, and there's danger there. Referee's given a free kick, and that's uh, very fortunate for Pompeo in the Worthing net. He stayed down. The clever ball through to Pierce. He's gone down really nastily. He landed badly on that ankle. McCollin wins the ball back and then goes down. Nothing doing then. Worthing can break on three. They've got three, four coming up. A step over, Starkey feeds the ball in, it's played all the way across. Here's the chance, oh, and just fluffing his lines, and still, Adjaboy nearly came away with the chance. Adjaboy picks it up. Oh, and he doesn't get his pass right at all, Clark. Crane, now Starkey. Starkey keeps going, gets a cross in, and coming at the back post. It had to be for Parsons. Burgess Hill Town left five up. Harding gets the ball out. And a strike from distance just over the top. Well, I think keeping position well. No. Miles. Clark comes short. Rents. Bud Worthing. Nearly every player's touched the ball. And Starkey takes a good save. James. And that has to be a free kick right on the edge. Parsons failed unnecessarily. Worthing have a great chance from a free kick yet again. Starkey's also there. But it's going to be Rents and it's over the top. Adjaboy takes off. It's got past one. He goes on the outside. He's still going. Has he run out of pitch? Just about. He's won his team a corner though. And it's seen at the near post headed away. It's going to be four minutes of additional time. That doesn't seem very much considering the injuries, but that's what it is. There's almost a chance there. As the ball was crossed in. It's got to go long from James, you think, now. Referee's just had a quick look at his watch. And he does indeed blow the whistle. Worthing progress through to the second round of the FA Trophy. The final score here at the Bibby Financial Services Stadium is Worthing 2, Burgess Hill Town 1.